The number you have dialed has been changed. The new number is... Please note, the new number is... Hey, what's up, guys? Team D back with another... Um... It's, this isn't something that I really hate, but I just find something that's kind of interesting because... Um, oh, by the way, uh, big thanks to the General Union out in Osaka um, for letting me talk about certain articles that are on your website. or oh, sorry, Facebook group. Um, if you're a foreigner, by the way, and you are seeking any advice in terms of um, work regulations or contracts and um, contact the general union they've been helping me or helped me since 2010 i think when i first contacted them if you want more details go on to the general union of japan website or go on to the uh facebook group on uh fb right this is a funny one <laughs> um this is about fucking fax machines man um, <laughs> um, I don't know how, how I should do this. Either read what GU have written or should I just get into my own experiences? Um, let me read. Let me read off what the GU has said. So, eliminate faxes. Faxes are the uh, penultimate form of document exchange. If you can think of a better way to send documents, I'd love to hear it. I actually responded with homing pigeons. <laughs> uh, at the height of the coronavirus outbreak in Japan, one doctor couldn't take it any longer. It wasn't the patients, it was, the, it was Japan's bureaucracy. <laughs> Every new infection he complained involved medical professionals compiling lengthy reports by hand and then faxing them to the public health office come on let's stop this already he wrote in a widely shared tweet even with corona <laughs> we're, we're handwriting and faxing <laughs> japan's government which sometimes seems hopelessly addicted to paper and faxes also began to realize the system wasn't working Doctors were overwhelmed with paperwork. Public health offices were drowning in faxes, which were a marvel of data exchange in the 1980s and are now more of a cur curiosity from another age. Uh, Japan's new minister, Yoshihide Suga, wants all this to change. Good job, Mr. Suga. He has set the digitalization of the bureaucracy and ultimately of Japan's entire society as a key priority of his new administration. And he aims to establish a new digital agency to put the idea into practice. <laughs> um, I think of the comments because it's like it's blowing up right now, actually. Um, G G's put. And he aims to establish a new digital agency to put the idea into practice, headed by some guy who has never sent an email in its life. Um, I'm just having a bit of a bit of banter in the in the FB um, thread at the moment. So let me get started about fax machines. Uh, when I first came to Japan, uh, basically. It's like 2008 and I work for a teaching company and at the end of the month we have to like you know fax our timesheets which again they have to be stamped hand code and we have to fax it at the end of the month so we can get paid so when I first moved here I actually never used a fax machine in my life um, I know like people in England had them for businesses back in the 1980s and you know you, you'd see like um, you'd see like a, a company in the yellow pages like with a telephone number fax number because at that time yeah we had cell phones right that was like the, the 1990s where cell phones were becoming a bit more used they were coming on the market 
So when I moved to Japan thinking that this is the most technological country on planet Earth, um, the, I had to ask one of the staff, my Kyoto sensor, like, uh, I don't know how to use this fax machine. <laughs> he just gave me this weird look of like, uh, <laughs> Gaijin-san, fax machine, wakarimasu. So anyway, since that time, in most, uh, sorry, when I say most, I would say all the companies out here have fucking fax machines. And it's quite astonishing because they, they actually still sell them in stores here. I don't know if you guys back in the UK, America, wherever, I don't know, can you guys out there like physically buy fax machines anymore? I, I know that they run off like dial up or some shit like that. It runs through the runs through the phone lines, the landline. What's up bro? Um he's got a New York Yankees jacket, cool man. The two of them. Yankees. So um yeah they still sell fax machines here um, and actually they're not they're not cheap they're like um it depends if you some schools if they've got money especially like private schools they actually have very um very good like printing machines good lord and um yeah the printers are very high quality but then it's attached to like a fax machine and some like my old school they had a smaller fax machine and i think before i left in in february the fax machine had actually broken so they, they couldn't send faxes so i was joking with my uh, my, my boss i'm like why can't you use fucking email like and to this day till i read the article which i'll put in the description in below um, I, if I have time, I might do another video when I get to my work spot, but I have fought this long battle about faxing worksheets, timesheets, documents, and so forth. Um, in Japan, they, 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 they see it as a very um, efficient way of um, getting data and sending data as where like foreigners we see fax machines as something out of like the Flintstones <laughs> you know carving like carving on like slate with a chisel you know it's very like kind of old um out here they think that um that sending faxes um it's, it's just a way of like it's just works for them right and i've walked past you get these shops out here that are like um they sell used office equipment and some of these fax machines are, are linked to like big printers where they have like you know a4 b4 big size paper they're quite big units and with that, they, they have a fax machine because obviously um, you're killing two birds with one stone having it all in, interconnected, right? But the amount of times where I had teaching companies mail me or should I say email me or call me on the phone and say, Darren, where is your timesheet? I said, I faxed it. And they went, we didn't get it. <laughs> so there were many places or work establishments that I've had problems with with sending um, sending uh, email, um, faxes so I actually got into a few uh, minor disputes with some companies saying like you know we've got email now you can attach excel files word files and they're like no they, they will not accept it even to this very fucking day and I hope Mr. Suga can change all that right my trains here so I'm going to get off guys yeah, another video that I've had to restart due to this ridiculous wind. Um, just following up on uh, what I was talking about. Um, so Suga-san, the, the new Prime Minister of uh, Japan, 
he wants to um, get um, phone prices reduced like how much people pay and stuff which is a good idea I mean but is that like a number one thing on his list of agendas that he's going to be changing out here it's a, it's a strange one but well you know if anybody can um, if anybody can save money that's a that's a good thing now going back to the the fax machine thing I was doing a little bit of research um, and there's actually some more points that I want to make in another video about it but um, from this website it says small businesses rather than big uh, conglomerates can't even pronounce it conglomerates <laughs> still dominate Japan's economy I have to speak louder than normal because I've got the wind function on my GoPro many still demand orders be sent by fax <laughs> lo and behold the wind has died this is the w this is the protection that I was looking for all this all these shrubberies the shrubs protecting me from the wind right the primary mode of writing is by hand and this is a technology that fits this perfectly said Jonathan Coppersmith a professor at Texas A&M University the author of a history of the fax machine okay that's that's interesting he's put one of the reasons is still there is that you have an older generation that's never really wanted to use computers fact and a lot of small businesses that never adopted computers and didn't need to yeah but how do they like communicate externally outside Japan I don't do companies still have fax machines that's a good question guys he said here sales of fax, fax machines which have declined in the United States grew nearly 6% in Japan last year while a government survey found found that a third of households still own fax machines wow Coppermith, Coppersmith said the government may have to wait until the older generation retires or dies out before it could fully achieve its objective I'm trying to look here for some more there's actually quite a lot of information I'm just trying to dissect little points buzz points uh, faxes won't be any easier to eliminate the technology caught on in Japan in the 1980s partly because of the cultural reverence for handwriting and because of the complexity of its written language which uses thousands of characters in three different scripts yeah that's a weird one and I'll tell you another weird situation here before I get off this topic is out over here you when you apply for a job in Japan you have to handwrite your resume <laughs> and we, where poor Yukari has to write my resume for all the jobs that I applied for which also it has to be in like um, a resume format and you buy these resumes at Daiso for example you gentlemen here and it has to be like the official re resume template so you can't just like make your own resume you know you have to have it like the the resume format and I have some at home maybe I'll show you guys it in another video but <laughs> some of the questions that you have to write or respond to are like what are, what expectations of the job do you have and how much like money would you like if you're applying for a job that you've never done before I can't see that question being um, 
a very good one because how, how do you know what how do you know what the job is like it's a nice shirt um it, it, it's just really weird man I don't, I'm, will that help the wind maybe i'll put my cap over my camera so basically um it it's just so ridiculous right and not only that most of these resumes you have to have like a passport sized uh photograph that has to be in the right dimensions of size you can't just like put any old picture on there and you have to wear if you're a graduate you have to wear a black suit oh wind no right i can tell you right now the reason why i have a lot of wind apart from my the wind that comes out of my ass is that where i work it's kind of near to like the um it's next to a big river which obviously connects out to the sea so that's why it's kind of windy out here sometimes which is highly frustrating for me making these videos because now I'm in stereo mode for fuck's sake <laughs> so let me wrap this up before I get to my my uh, employment place have I got time? Oh, I've got about 20 minutes so basically I'm trying to just apply for jobs out here through the uh, through the Japanese uh, resume it's the most oh and by the way you might need to have a hanko which is going to be another video that I'll be making maybe later today I don't know <coughs> I don't want to be spreading uh, COVID-19 to people so I'm going to head down towards the, the Convini but what do you guys think? I know that um, Kanji can be a very complicated system and, and Hiragana and all the other stuff but it's not like they don't have computers out here that can write things because most of the documents or letters about work or whatever are typed out so why does a resume why does a resume have to be written out it i just don't get that when it look a lot better on microsoft word all nicely formatted and you know there's no oil stains on it no tomato ketchup on your resume because that's happened to me a few times where well, i wrote resumes and you know maybe some dirt got on it and stuff like that and um I had to redo it. Oh, sorry, you carry had to do it. So I'm just giving you guys a little bit of insight. So I'm gonna love you and leave you guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.